Hey guys, happy Friday. Uh, I know it is a little bit later than planned for this video. I initially was supposed to be posting this early on today, but I woke up and was not feeling great. In addition to that, I guess Murphy's Law had other plans because, well, Mother Nature and the universe had other plans because it rained and stormed all day today. It was horrible outside. So even if I had have been feeling okay when I woke up, going outside to film my workout just was not gonna go as planned. But it's okay because there's tomorrow. And that's not excuses, it's, it's tomorrow. You know, can't dwell on the fact that things did not go as planned today, but it did let me know, have a plan B. So in case I have to pivot and change things up, I've got a plan B in place for tomorrow, which it's looking like it's going to rain the remainder of this weekend. So I've got things under control for that. I also think that I ate something that had scallops in it yesterday, which I am not, um, supposed to eat them, um, allergic to them. And I woke up feeling really sick this morning. And I think that the seafood that I had yesterday had some scallops in it. So either way it went, I wasn't gonna be up for my workout. Um, and I definitely didn't want to stand over food, preparing food while I wasn't feeling good. So today was kind of a wash when it comes down to the physical part but with some other stuff, some administrative stuff that I had to take care of and other things, that was successful. So I am going to be ready for tomorrow. But this just, like I said, it put things into perspective about having a plan B in place and being prepared. This was personal. So I don't know why I wasn't as prepared for this as I would have been if this was something that was not so personal if it was something more so work related then i'd have those fail safes in, in place but didn't but again it's okay it's about the solution which i have for tomorrow i did have a a win so this it, it's it's a win because you know when stuff goes left and things end up you know just getting kind of shitty it's Especially when you're focused on eating right and getting things back in order on the nutritional and health front. You might eat the wrong thing, do the wrong thing, drink the wrong thing. And I didn't do that. I am a candy fiend, a candy holic, and didn't have a drop of candy today. Normally, if things end up not going as planned and I get a little anxiety or don't feel that great or, you know, get frustrated. I'm going for the candy or some Talente. Neither one of those happened. Um, from having food in the fridge freeze unexpectedly and not being able to get to the food that I had planned to eat today and to prepare today, I was cool. I was so cool. I was, I was cool, 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 okay? So I did, however, get to make dinner, and dinner is some pan seared salmon with a mix with mixed greens, um, spring mix, and spinach, along with some of the strawberries that were in the fridge that froze. I took a couple out, and they were able to thaw out a little bit because um, they weren't frozen solid, but they were frozen to where I couldn't do what I needed to do this morning. Um, along with an avocado, slice that up, and I'm going to top it with some emerald almonds no pecans that are slightly glazed just a little bit of that just for something extra and i'm happy about that i am definitely satisfied that i did not revert to the candy the talente or go downstairs and do the wrong thing eat the wrong thing get some frozen yogurt from downstairs it could have went so wrong but instead i stuck to the plan because i don't want to do one thing on camera and do something else when I'm not filming, when you guys can't see it. Again, this is about it telling the truth and being, being real and honest about this. So if by chance, you know, God willing, I won't, but if by chance I slip up, I'm gonna let you know. Uh, because 
the results for what you don't do is going to show. The same way the results for what you do show up, it goes both ways. And I'm not going to sit on here and show you all of these uh, amazing meals and workouts that I'm doing and everything else is staying the same. I'm not losing weight. I'm not toning up. I'm not getting healthier, looking healthier, feeling healthier. I don't have the energy. I'm still feeling lethargic and stuff because I'm eating gummy bears and gummy worms on this off camera. So tomorrow is going to be a new day, better day. <sighs> Rain or shine, it is going down. And I hope that your day has been successful. That even if it hasn't been 100% of what you wanted it to be, that you do take a second out and you think about the wins because everything couldn't have possibly gone wrong. Something went right. Even if everything was pretty shitty and felt crappy, something had to go right. You woke up. You're breathing. And not to sound like I'm all yoga and incensed out because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. But you got to get to a place of feeling okay when stuff doesn't go right and not going into a total funk because it's so easy to get into a funk and stay there. But coming out of one, mm -mm. <laughs> easy is not even a word that I would use when it comes to coming out of a funk and coming out of uh, just a, a shitty space. So if you had a win, waking up, getting up, getting out of the bed and starting your day, that's a win. Being here to view this video, that's a win. There's so many people that didn't make it through last night. So many. And, you know, just be grateful, be thankful that God or whoever your your higher power is granted you another 24 because there's so many people that didn't make it. And there have been days where I've woken up and been disappointed that I had to go through another 24. And just sitting, thinking about it and feeling that way was not a good feeling. But, hey... You have to sit and really reevaluate what's important and what's not. And you have to sit and think about the things that have you upset. And what is it about those things that have you so upset? I mean, I know it sounds a little basic, but seriously, you got to think about it. Why is this so important that it has me upset? That's going to affect my mood. It's going to affect how I function throughout the day. Whether it's man, woman, or child, the, your job, or whatever it is, you really got to sit and think about it. Is it worth compromising your emotional state? Uh, is it going to make you any money? <laughs> is it going to add value to your life or is it going to take away? That's the question. That's what you got to ask yourself. And I got to get to the same, get to that place myself. Oh, but so let me show you my salad before the the time runs out let's see okay so i have salmon some spring mix strawberries and this is the dressing that i'm going to use and i'm going to top it with a little bit of these so that is pretty much all i have to say for today have an amazing night and I will see you in the morning.